Paul, an incredible match. How would you begin to sum it up? I'm trying to work out what happened myself, Steve, to be perfectly honest, mate. It's, uh, wow, sending offs, last minute goals, you know, incident throughout the game. Uh, I think it was a difficult uh, game for the referee to, uh, to manage. I think he did very well in the end. I think he got uh, a number of decisions right. I'd have to look at uh, the Hayden's decision because obviously we've not seen that back and had a chance to look at that. But uh, but I think he got the big decisions right and uh, the character of the boys was absolutely unbelievable. Let's get your view on the decision. So many big ones, as you say. We'll try, if we might, to do it in the order in which they took place. The first, I believe, was the penalty which Cheltenham had uh, following uh, a foul by Aidan White. Yeah. No, well, the way we look at it, we've seen it at half time. He does get a touch, and, and it probably looks a penalty. You know, we the people see us on the side; they're appealing for everything. But sometimes it looked a penalty from we were, where we were. There was a minimal touch, but the guy goes down. And, and to be fair, looking back at the replay, then you can see why the referee makes the decision. And then a red card for Cheltenham. There first, Taylor Moore sent off for a, an apparent elbow on Danny Rose. Yeah, we've looked at it back. It looks, you know, it, these elbow things are, are very, very hard to judge. You know, do I think that uh, Taylor Moore's a, a nasty player that throws elbows? No, he probably not. But uh, if his elbow's out of control and catches Danny, then that's dangerous. And uh, these days, you don't get away with stuff like that. Uh, was it intentional? Only the lad will know. I wouldn't like to think so. Can you shed any light on what happened after that in the Cheltenham dugout? Because the Robins boss, Gary Johnson, was sent to the stands. Um, I think Gary was... Uh, having some choice words with uh, with Danny Rose. Uh, there was a number of his staff around Danny, uh, which I thought we thought was inappropriate. We tried to make sure Danny didn't get involved. So obviously we're trying to bait him and obviously <coughs> make something happen and make something of the incident. And uh, then, then Gary's pushed me. So uh, as far as I'm aware, that's, uh, that's why he went and that's why he got sent to the stand. Let's just get a bit more clarity on the, uh, the stag sending off. Aidan White dismissed. Are you saying therefore then that you'd need to see that again to get a, a better judgment of it? Yeah, very much. As I say, we're down to, we, normally at half time we can have a look at the key incidents and, and, and have a look and see what we think. But obviously we've not had time after the game to see that. It looked as though uh, Hayden's tried to block it. It's gone a little bit reckless. The guy's nicked it away from him and it, it looks a naughty one. It looks nasty. Uh, Hayden's not got a bad bone in his body. Uh, but I'm told Junior Hoyle it's not either. But we've seen the replays of that one on Tuesday. So some you get, some you don't. Referees have got a very, very hard job, um, you know. And we're just pleased to get three points. That's the biggest thing of, t of today. Not sending offs, not anything else, not refereeing decisions. It's the character that the boys showed to end up with three points today. And it was a massive three points for us. Last one, just to complete the pack. Danny Wright sent off for Cheltenham. They went down to nine men. How did you, v you view that one? Well, we had a good view of that. We're looking straight at that. It looks as though uh, Danny's tried to get across Alfie. Um, <laughs> caught him in the face with his arm. And the linesman's got a very, very good view of it. You know, and, and, and obviously sees something and... Uh, and it's a straight red. So, you know, the referees and the linesmen make these decisions. We don't make these decisions. We saw it as the linesmen saw it. You know, we thought it, there was a flaying in arm that caught Alfie. And, and as I say, the referee and the linesmen, you know, give them a red card. So, you know, we can't get involved in those decisions. That's up to the officials on the day. What does a comeback like this say about your players? Well, our players are, uh, are in a good place at the moment. They have been for a few weeks now. Um, but those type of wins show the real character. You know, the fans got behind us. Uh, which we need, um, you know, once again, a few negative comments, uh, which is disappointing. Uh, I think the manager's particularly frustrated by one or two comments once again, which keep, uh, keep cropping up every time we play at home. Uh, we've been in this game a long, long time. We do know what we're doing. We've got a number of promotions and uh, it's very, very disappointing that uh, one or two people just, well, they're just making silly, silly comments that certainly don't help the situation. Is it the usual suspects? Oh, it looks that way. The gaffer's obviously uh, asked me to come and speak to you guys. He's not happy. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's sitting up there. He's obviously absolutely delighted with the boys, delighted with the three points, but obviously it leads just a, a little sour taste in the mouth once again. You made a big decision, didn't you? Changes are always big decisions, but you made a, a one in the second half and it paid off. That man Kane Hemmings climbing off the bench and getting you a leveller. Yeah, we, we felt a little bit sorry for Leon Gull. Uh, to go on as a substitute and then be replaced is never nice. But uh, to be fair to the lad, the attitude he showed in you know not sulking and getting on with it and was there was celebrating with the boys in the dressing room that just shows his character as well. You know he'll be very disappointed. But we just had to get a goal scorer onto the pitch. Um, you know but there was there were so many changes of formation, so many things happening. Uh, it was difficult, but uh, we got it right in the end, and that's all that matters. Uh, overall, you've been involved in hundreds of matches over your career as both as a player 
and as part of uh, Steve Evans' management team. Where does this game rank in terms of twists, turns, drama, big decisions and comebacks? At the moment, it's right up at the top, isn't it? But uh, there's a long way to go. There's 18 more games in the league before the end of the season. There'll be twists and turns. I think the gaffer said when we walked in the door, you know, over a year ago, it's going to be a roller coaster. We're, uh, we're on that roller coaster, aren't we? What's that dressing room like now? Well, you can hear the rubbish music that they've got on as usual, and uh, no, they're, they're buzzing. They're very, very, very happy, as you can imagine. And uh, there's the, some tired legs in there between Tuesday and today. Some real tired legs in there, and. And to pull it out of the bag at the end there and show that energy and show that commitment uh, is a real, real plus for us. Closing thoughts tonight, Paul, after a quite pulsating afternoon here. Uh, go and rest my voice. Hope you do that. Well done. Cheers. Thank you, Steve.